Leading it off, Stephen Kwan, the one Cleveland Guardian that's hitting. That's a base hit into left center. Stephen Kwan continues his hitting ways. Now on a nine game postseason hitting streak, his sixth hit of this division series. Here's Kyle Manzardo. That is a base hit into right center field. Manzardo singles and back to back hits. Kwan got a great jump. Swiped third. Manzardo stayed put at first. Lane Thomas. Who blasted a three run homer to left in Cleveland on Saturday against Reese Olson. And he's on the first pitch and a base hit to right field. Quan will score. And Lane Thomas gives Cleveland its first run since the sixth inning on Saturday after going 20 consecutive scoreless innings, getting shut out back to back games. Tanner Bybee is just all out of sorts. He's walked two, given up a hit this inning. It's one nothing Cleveland, but the Tigers have loaded them up with nobody out for the number eight hitter Trey Sweeney. And this is a scenario where you do not want to be going to the bullpen this early, but you're also not going to let this game get out of hand. And Sweeney on the first pitch, a fly ball left center. Going to be plenty deep to get Keith home. Tigers have tied it in one. Trey Sweeney gets the run home. Huge to tie it up. Now can Tanner Bybee do what Reese Olsen did back in the first and minimize the damage. Swung on line to short caught double play. Rokio caught the BB. No idea where Torkelson was going and he runs the Tigers out of what could have been a big inning. Mira's at the plate against Tyler Holden four for eight three of those four hits are doubles and he sends that one deep into left field and Ramirez will watch it fly out of here. Jose Ramirez has arrived here in game four and the Guardians grab the lead two to one Cleveland and he crushed that one on the line an absolute no doubter so they feel a lot better where they're at you've had two good innings from Tanner Bybee Cade Smith looks like he's starting to get ready Kenstry the leadoff man in the fifth and he flies into left field got some carry McKenstry sends Quan deep it is gone <laughs> Opposite field home run for Zach McKinstry. We're tied at two. Waving to the crowd, getting him up as he crosses home plate. 2-2 two, two ball game, and that's it for Bybee. Steven Vogt is on his way to the mound. He'll make the move right here. Two out, two on, still a 2-2 two, two ball game. First pinch hitter, Wensel Perez is going to get the at-bat here with two on. Swing a little flare in the left center field. Will it drop? It will. Round in third, heading home. Carpenter, no throw. Tigers take the lead. Three to two in the sixth. Wenzel Perez delivers. Have to keep an eye on Carpenter here. He was booking it as hard as he could. And right then... there. When he stepped on third, you saw that face go right after, and that's a hamstring all over right there. Carpenter left the game with a left hamstring strain. That pitch hit him. McKinstry hitting the foot. The bases are now loaded. And what you may be seeing are these rookie Cleveland relievers showing that they're rookies. Sweeney on the first pitch. Ground ball to Ramirez. He'll go across in time. But the Tigers have taken their first lead in this game. David Fry will pinch it. And so A.J. Hinch can start going to his right handers in the bullpen. Brisky deals it. And Fry in the air. Deep left field. This is back. This is up and gone. David Fry off the bench. A two strike, two out, two run home run. And Cleveland's back on top for the third time tonight. Four to three. And Comerica Park as silent as St. John's Cathedral on a Sunday morning in downtown Cleveland. Here's Andre Jimenez 0 for 3. On the ground. Oh, what a play! Throw to first in time! Wow! Diving stop by Keith. Pops out, throws. Got him. Fine play. Saved the run. Great play. NZ8. See if the Tigers carry that momentum into the dugout. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Plus A is coming on for just the third time this year to try to pitch multiple innings. And it'll be the second time in this series he's come on. In the eighth inning with men on base. Perez, good speed at first. 
McKinstry on the ground. Slow roller. Jimenez underhands it over to Naylor for out number two. But it puts the tying run green at third. The go ahead run Perez at second. Classe ready for a one two. Here he comes. And a swing and a miss. Down he goes. Classe with a stare down. Now we go to the ninth inning. And the Guardians have runners at the corners with one down in the ninth. And now we will see Will Vest come into this ball game. It's four to three Cleveland. They've got runners at the corners. One down in the ninth. Shows bunt, gets it down, squeezes on, and safe! He's in with a head first slide. They pulled off a safety squeeze. And a beauty of a bunt by David Fry. He trickled it out between the mound and home plate. Had zero sacrifice bunts in his major league career until that one. Well, Emmanuel Classe is going to try to get himself a five out save. And Malloy turns on it down the left field line. It is a fair ball. Rattles into the corner. It's hot. Malloy in the second base with a double. And the tying run will come to the plate. And there is out number one. It does advance Rogers. I beg your pardon, it does advance Malloy. And here's Jace Young. And remember, he's taking over for Kerry Carpenter. We are told Carpenter left with a hamstring injury. Big swing, bouncing ball. Coming over is Jimenez. Tough play, class A there for him. A run will score. Young gets the RBI. And thankfully, Class A raced over on that jam job that was slowly chopped. Oh, that had trouble written all over it. Now it's a one run game with two down and Matt Veerling, the hitter. A swing and a miss. Ball game. And this incredible division series has one more game remaining. Guardians snap an 11 game losing streak when they face elimination. They hadn't won a game since game six of the 97 World Series in elimination. A deciding game five winner take all Saturday in Northeast Ohio. Labor Torres to start it. One for ten in the series. Lines the first pitch of the game into left center field for a base hit. Racing over to try and cut it off is Isbell. Heading for second is Torres and he makes it with a headlong dive. A leadoff double. His second hit of the series and both of them at the expense of Waka. Opposite field home run in game one at Yankee Stadium and then a double to start this game. Now Juan Soto. Three for ten in the series with three walks. Through the right side for a base hit. Torres being waved home. It's juggled in right field by Pham, so it's a moot point, and the Yankees immediately jump in front, 1-0. It's a base hit and an RBI for Juan Soto. What a great beginning for the Yanks in games where runs are so tough to come by. Garrett Cole on the mound built the pitch in these kind of games. He's the best blend of power and precision. Precision was lacking in his first start in game one. 80 pitches over five innings. Massey goes down on strikes. Bobby Witt Jr. One for 13 in the series. Fly ball to right. Soto has it lined up. Two out nobody on. For Vinny Pasquantino. The payoff is strike three fastball the knees good pitch. So in the inning three up and three down including two strikeouts at the end of one. First two hitters against Waka. Double by Torres RBI single by Soto after that other than a Stanton double he's been pretty sharp. And no sooner do I say that than Volpe delivers a hit past the dive of Witt. A one out single. Verdugo hits one toward the middle. Backhanded by Massey with a flip to second base. What a play. They get the force, but a tremendous combination between Massey and Witt Jr. So now with Verdugo at first and two out, here's Birdie who lined to center his first time up. There's a base hit to right. Verdugo to second. Wheels around the bag, heads for third, and the Yankees have runners at the corners with two out. Back to the top for Glaber Torres. Line drive to right that's going to drop for a base hit. Torres comes through. Verdugo trots home. Birdie sprints to third. 2 nothing Yanks. What a series Torres has had so far. Remember in game one he hit that home run off Walker. And now another big hit to drive in a run here in the fifth. One out into the fifth. And Cole has allowed only one hit. A single by Tommy Pham. The 3-2 pitch. High drive right field. Soto goes back in front of the bullpen. He has room. Brought many out of their seats, but it's just allowed out. Would have been 
a home run in 26 mm. of the 30 big league parks. But not tonight at Kauffman Stadium. But when the calendar flips to October, for whatever reasons, the evidence so far is that he's not the same guy. Here's a drive toward the gap in left center field, and Judge is connected up against the wall. He's on his way to second, and he's in there with a leadoff double. What a start for Judge here. Weight lifted off his back. This is a productive out. Massey throws to Goriel to retire Wells, but on to third goes Judge with one out. Infield up for the Royals, of course. Here's Stanton. Hit through the middle. Boy, they just cannot handle Stanton. And it's 3 0 Yankees. It's got to feel good for Judge starting a rally, scoring a run, and Stanton just impossible to get out for this Kansas City team. Ball is hit like a bullet between the legs of Ursa. Garcia is on for the top of the order. Now to the top of the order for Massey, who struck out twice against Cole. Bouncing ball taken by Birdie. Steps on the bag. He throws to second. The tag on Garcia, and they get the double play. Boy, that quiets the crowd at Kauffman Stadium. He's asking for a replay. And also, he's asking maybe Volpe to reconsider something. And Torres is walking Garcia off. And now both benches empty. And here come the bullpens. Well, at first, I thought the double play would quiet the crowd. Nice play by Birdie with the accurate throw and the late slide here by Garcia and he kind of came in spikes heavy. That's when Volpe kind of pushed him off the bag. Then another tag there and then a pat on the chest and Garcia did not like that a pat on the back. All of that irritated Garcia and then Chisholm comes over which he didn't need to do and Torres just trying to walk Garcia That's away right. from it all. Bobby Wood Junior. He's over two tonight. He's one for 15 in the series. Down the right field line that drops for a base hit. Witt will hold it first. His first hit of the night and his second of the series. And that double play looms very large right now. Now Pasquantino on his birthday. Another 0 2 pitch. A drive to left center field. Verdugo in pursuit. He will not get there. Up against the wall. Win around third. He's going to score the Royals' first run. And Kaufman Stadium comes alive again in the sixth. Well, good hitting here from Pasquantino. Witt might be the fastest player in baseball. Simple run for him around the bases. Pasquantino with a double. And we said that Cole pursues efficiency. Only 84 pitches here with two outs in the seventh. Here's the guy who's giving him trouble, Tommy Pham. Pair of singles, around 400 lifetime against Cole. Toward the hole, he's three for three. And the tying run will come to the plate. So the tying run is at the plate. Kyle Isbell with two down in the bottom of the seventh. Yankees lead 3 1. Isbell had eight regular season home runs. Sends this one to deep right. Back goes Soto by the bullpen. And he's got it with his back against the bullpen fence. On a different night, without the wind, this might very well be a tie game. Oh my. Kyle Isbell came just a couple of feet shy of tying this game with a home run. Luke Weaver, the newly minted Yankee closer, is in there. Yankee relievers combined in this series have worked 14 and two thirds innings and have not allowed an earned run. He's going for his third save in this series. Had to get nine outs to cover the first two saves. Weaver deals. And Pasquantino strikes out on three pitches. Now the great veteran Sal Perez. Weaver makes quick work of Pasquantino and then Perez striking them both out and the Royals season now comes down to Yuli Gurriel 0 for 3 tonight in the air to center field judge has it lined up and the Yankees are on their way to the LCS ball game over American League Division Series over Yankees win the Yankees win the Royals gave them a good battle all four games were close but the Yankees now advance to the LCS.